take me through like how this this amazing life that you've created started like where did you go to where did you go to school what did you study and how did you get started yeah i mean i i think it was uh i think kind of the initial way of getting started for me was like this is what i've always wanted to do and i didn't really know how to do it there wasn't uh, there wasn't a great uh, like well i mean i guess what i do now is a lot different than what it was 20 years ago when i started and to say 20 years ago is like that seems so long ago it didn't seem that long to me but it actually was i started shortly after high school um and my kind of like thought was i i just want to be hunting all the time i love hunting and the way for me to do that was through guiding um so like shortly after high school i started i went to montana um to look for a guiding job essentially i didn't have any leads really so i just kind of packed up my truck and was like well i'm gonna be gone for the whole hunting season i'm just like i'm just either gonna hunt every day or, or find a job and i ended up getting a guiding job uh through just being out in the field all the time because i kept uh i kept like there's this this i was actually i had a deer tag and an elk tag and I was hunting these elk and I kept passing up bulls. I was looking for, I was like, I got a lot of time. I don't, I'm not shooting a bull the first day. Like I'm going to shoot the biggest bull in the unit. And it was just a general unit. You know, it was a 330 type bull I was chasing and would have been my best elk. And like, I'm just either going to kill this bull or nothing. And I, I passed up so many elk and was always on the elk. And a couple different days in a row, I had these guys come in behind me and I was always there ahead of them. And it was just like three different, completely different air places in the unit. And then afterwards I met up with the guy and he's like, Hey man, it's like, instead of working against us, you want to work for us? And I was like, yep, absolutely. That's why I'm here as an outfitter. And, uh, so I started working for him. Uh, I think it was actually toward the end of the season, like he had some openings and stuff. So I started guiding and then I went to school in Reno, uh, university of Reno, Nevada during the spring and summer semester. So I was still did school, but I was able to take off from, I think whenever that summer semester ended, like beginning of August, I think it was like August 1st through Jan most of January till after Christmas. So I could essentially take six months off work and still get, I, I actually had a full academic scholarship to the university. So I was like, might as well take advantage of it. Um, and so I, I did that in the off season and then got six months to work and whatever. And because of that, I got a lot of experience. I got to hunt essentially 120 days a year, uh, which was awesome, you know, and, and that's kind of how I like got, got going. Really. So you were, you were, you were one of these smart guys in high school. You got straight A's, I assume. I did. Yeah. I actually, uh, I took college and like a little bit of college in high school simultaneously. So I was able to, uh, I actually graduated high school with like a year, a little over a year of college done. Um, I took, uh, I got to take like film broadcast and production technologies at the community college while I was in high school, which is really cool. I went to a technical institute for a little bit of high school and yeah, it was, it, so it was like, okay, this is what I loved filming stuff. I was like, oh man, I, I, I'd really like to film things. And that's kind of how I, well, I guess, transitioned into media, television, other stuff is like, I just had a passion for filming. I have a passion for hunting. And so I saved up my money. I bought a decent camera, not a, not, it was like at the time, it was like a, a pretty top of the line camera, but it was just when HD came into the scene. So I bought a, like a high end SD camera um, and it just would carry that is pretty big. And I would carry that on every hunt when I'm guiding, I'd set it up for the shots. I'd film everything, my client. And then at the end, I would just like edit videos for clients and I'd been doing making little hunting videos or whatever, since I was 12 or 13 years old, I just bring the camera along, film my dad. I didn't like to be in front of the camera. I like to film everyone else. And then I would just cut together like parts of our hunt and give it to my dad, like every year for Christmas. That's what I do. I'd make him like a, a hunting TV show or hunting videos. And, um, then, yeah, I just, I continued to do it. And my thought was like, I'd seen, you know, a little bit of like outdoor TV kind of started, at this time, I don't know, maybe it had been going on, but I just didn't have it. Um, and I thought, I was like, whoa, there's a place for this. And I'm like, how do you get a TV show? That seems very difficult. So I just did it the same way that I did anything. I was like, I'm just going to start doing it. 
Uh, I'm just going to start filming everything. And that way, if an opportunity comes around, well, I've got experience. And that is kind of how I ended up starting with TV stuff was because I saw this thing for, uh, I don't even know, remember where I saw it. It was like for, an, and it was kind of like an ad, like, Hey, if you have self-filmed content, uh, reach out. <laughs> and so it was solo hunters. And I think they just somehow they got like a, uh, the guy Tim Burnett that started it was actually producing another show for someone and they backed out of a time slot and he had nothing to fill it with. So he just like started this. He had like a something that he filmed himself and started it and was like, maybe other people have done this. And so I called him up and I was like, Hey, yeah, I've got some stuff. And he's like, Oh yeah. Like what hunt? I was like, Oh, I don't know. I've got like 50 or 60 of them, you know, <laughs> like, Oh like, wow. You're 60. And I was like, yeah, I've got a ton of stuff. Um, I've got, I was like, oh, yeah, I've got a 200 inch mule deer. I shot a 380 inch bull elk. I've got this, 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 and I've got stuff that I filmed of other people. And he's like, Oh, it's me. He's like, where do you live? And we ended up living like five miles away from each other. It's pretty mm -hmm. crazy. Like, Oh, I can drive down there today. You just bring, brought a box of tapes and we went through it. And that became like the first three seasons of solo. Hunter. <laughs> so, oh, no way. I was like, it was just like crazy. Um, so, and then, you know, in, at the time, like that, the stuff wasn't filmed for anything specific. It was just filmed for me. And so we used, we worked a lot of that in to the show and then kind of then with the goal of like, this is how we're going to do it, started filming specifically for that.